along with all of that, we have got big burgers, bold and bacon taste, where you can sink your teeth into this beefy masterpiece. Mm, that looks delicious. Plus, she's our favorite pint-sized musician with what well, she'll be yours, too. It's a special rooftop session with Piper with those cute little pipes, big pipes. And as we are talking about <laughs> Mad Science Monday, we are exploring the world of chemistry. Things are changing color. Wow, that's very cool looking. And oh, yeah, we may kind of make some explosions and blow stuff up. Wow, that's so cool. Live from Market Square in downtown San Antonio, this is SA Live. And we are officially ready for the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo after this weekend's Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. Oh, it's always so cool seeing those Longhorns marching down Houston Street. Happy Monday, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Jen Tobias Trusky, filling in for Fiona today. Yes, we had a blast kicking off the rodeo over at the parade. There were uh, about three dozen different, you don't want to say necessarily floats, but all the folks can, you know, no rubber tires, no engines, all the cattle there. So cool. And you got to be down at La Vita. It's something new this year. Yes, I got to get some free food, biscuits, gravy. The lines were long. I saw a roper, uh, Will, Willie, he was great some tricks. It was a blast. Well, here's a look back at some of our Why favorite you moments. Why are back there, Rossi? I'm going to call you out. Good morning, everyone. It is a beautiful, beautiful day to celebrate Texas Western Heritage. It's a sight to see. If you've never seen anything like this, just hold on to your seats because this is really cool stuff. Nothing else like this in Texas, if not the United States. I'm really excited to be a part of this this year. This is the Wrangler Rodeo Breakfast, so you have to bring a cowboy appetite. Everybody, Absolutely. come on out and get you a taste of that. Look at that. It has salt pork in it and bacon. Mm -hmm. in a row, there is no better rodeo in the United States. You are best right. rodeo. You bet. You bet. And we're excited about that. And we hope to make it 14 next year. 6,000 of them dedicated diehard volunteers coming from, from San Antonio and communities all surrounding us. And, uh, you know, I look at a crowd out here like this supporting us. Thank all you guys for being here and, and, and the support Yay. that you guys give to together it's our community it's our home and and we love it well thanks a lot for all you do at all the volunteers yeah, Cody. Thank appreciate you guys. it thank have you. a fantastic rodeo 125 head of Longhorn cattle. We had Clydesdales. There were um, the sheepdogs out there. Those are my favorite. Oh, aren't they? So those, they are fantastic. Mm -hmm. they lay down there, just look at all those those sheep and everything. And then La Vita. And of course, now right around the corner is Rodeo. I know. It's, it's already here. Thursday, right? The kickoff. Yep. It feels like it's here already, though. It does. So at least you got a couple of days to think about it because what is your favorite thing. What's, what are you really looking forward to at rodeo? Is it the actual rodeo? So I love watching the rodeo. I love the food. Yes. <laughs> Fried Snickers? In the and I haven't tried that. See? Oh Oh. Uh, maybe there's something new. Something we may have to do a show crazy. to Fried Snickers. Had that one time. So those are really, really good. So, <laughs> all right, that's but right now, it is a mad science Monday. Yes, so we're exploring the world of chemistry, aren't yeah. we? And yes, yes, yes. This sand is afraid. That sand is afraid. This sand yes. is afraid, yes. It is phobic. <laughs> Hydrophobic. So you um, should probably goggle it up. You should probably put your okay. safety goggles right. on. Yes, of course. And did you want to start with sands? Or, or do you can, want to start here? Start, we'll start down there. Okay, so I have three cups, obviously, all clear liquids. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, if we're wearing gloves and goggles, it's not completely safe, and it's not all water. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour uh, cup one into cup two, okay. because water is good for you, but sometimes you like something with flavor, so maybe you want a little Ooh. juice, right? Yeah. So, That's very cool. I know, right? Super cool. But water truly is the best beverage for you, so you probably should drink more water than you do juice, right? Too much sugar. What? So you pour your juice into there. All right. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. All right. So the, my first cup, I had a little bit of phenolphthalein. And when that touches a base, it's going to turn this lovely shade. Okay, so it's um, it's a re it's showing me that there is a base inside. So it's okay. like an indicator, a chemical indicator. And then when I combine this over here with my clear cup, which you could probably smell was vinegar, <laughs> yes. acetic acid, it's going to turn back to clear because it's telling us, hey, there's an acid in here. 
Oh, okay. Sweet, right? Wow. Yeah, wow. I like how when you pour it in, like how it looks like it goes yeah. in and it's clear. So it's so I don't want to cool. overflow. Now, no. was there any any sort of chemical reaction going on or was it just detecting it? Oh, very nice. There is. I mean, if there's a color change, you've got a chemical reaction. Okay. Okay, so a physical change, we'll talk about at the end. Um, you can change the size and shape of something, but you're not creating anything new. Um, we're going to do a little chemistry here in the middle. Um, it's We call it a chemical clock, and clocks sometimes don't always work the way we want them to, but I have in here a little bit of H2O and some vitamin C, and I'm going to mix in some iodine. Now, did you see how it turned pretty clear now back to yellow? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's a pretty fast reaction. And then we have over here my H2O, a little bit of hydrogen peroxide you might get from your medicine cabinet. Right. And some liquid starch. Oh, wow. Moving the whole table. Okay, liquid starch. All right, so that looks boring. But what you want to do is combine <laughs> the two. So when you combine the two, it's actually a little battle because you've got two reactions, a fast and a slow. And the other one's not going to happen until all the vitamin C is used up. So it could be immediate or it could take some time. And you said that but, can, the temperature can then yes, have an effect on that. Wow, too, you're right? listening. <laughs> so, I mean, you could stand here and be like, mm -hmm, I wanted to mm -hmm. go, I wanted to go, I wanted to go. Mm -hmm. But really, you just have to be patient. Okay. okay. So we're going to uh, pretend we're patient and we're going to let it sit. And then we're going to come over here. Okay. All right. Because okay, so I this think is you're the, excited. The, the, the sand that's afraid is hydrophobic sand, which yes. means hydro is water. Mm -hmm. Phobic is it uh, doesn't like it. Right. So, um, you know, water is the universal solvent, so it works for most things. Most things can mix, you know, like oil can't mm -hmm. mix in. All right, these sands, you can, you know what I would do? I would take a little spoon and just okay. shake it on top. Um, they're kind of coated with little raincoats made of oil, okay? Oh, okay. And so hydrophobic's like, I'm not going in, I'm not mixing in. And the water tension allows it to stay on top, okay? So okay. what you could do now, you could actually take off your glove if you like. All right. And very slowly push down into the aisle... You ready? Of red. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right there. And then oh, look wow. underneath, and your finger is coated by hydrophobic sand. It's protecting you. That is wow. so cool. And my finger is perfectly, perfectly dry. Uh, fingernails try to kill it sometimes. Yours are better than mine. Oh, yes, right? Okay. Now, what happens if you... One more time. Oh, one ready? more time. Ready on that shot but over it's there? it's still dry. Okay. My finger is dry. That is there so cool. It looks weird, It looks right? frozen. Okay, perfectly safe. Very, very. And again, it's, it's perfectly dry. And so that's because it's kind of sticking together and it keeps the, the water away. Yeah, so. and like okay. the coating keeps it out. Like, like we call it with the kids, tiny little ring coats. But what would happen if you dumped a bunch in there? Okay. Just pour it in. Just dump it? Just lump it. Oh. Look underneath. Oh, wow. That's, that's very cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Look how neat that is. All right. We are going to be making things <laughs> kind of not really go boom, yeah. but... Some explosions. That's going to, and that's oh, perfectly dry, dry sand in there. Yeah, we're going to be coming back with more of that in just. Oh wow, that's really <laughs> cool. All right, coming up, big bold burgers. We're beefing up your lunch hour with some of the best burgers in town. Where you ask, we've got the details coming up. Plus, surprise your sweetheart with some homemade crafts, some homemade Valentine's Day cards that come from the heart. Stay with us. That was quick. Look at that. <laughs> Senior scientist Andrea Cook is here, and we are talking chemistry, and we just witnessed a chemical reaction. Yes. And that's still going to town. Yes. Okay, so what created this? So we have um, vinegar is the clear liquid in the bottom, so mm -hmm. acetic acid. And then in the balloon, uh, the balloons and the glove, we have baking soda, sodium bicarbonate. So we've got acid-base reaction. This also got very cold. Is that? Yeah. It, oh, yeah, yeah. Endothermic. That's right. So it's going to feel a little chilly afterwards. So it absorbed heat yeah. as mm -hmm. opposed to being exothermic, giving off heat like concrete does Correct. or something. Correct. Mundo. Yeah. It cures. Like okay. If the kids are making like sidewalk chalk, plaster of Paris. Exactly. Oh, okay. So um, this is super fun. You may not have Erlenmeyer flasks at home, but you could do it with bottles, like mm -hmm. just clean out some soda bottles and so forth. Um, and you want the kids to realize it is an acid-base reaction. It could be called cool volcano, but I like adding the balloons as a little extra phone because that gas it's produced is obviously going to inflate the balloon. Mm -hmm. So you've got the hydroxide ions in your base, and when you put them down and you mix them up with your um, hydrogen ions of your Boy, that, acid, that goes quick. Yeah, that's what happens. It's using them up. Okay. Uh huh. Now the glove is not secured as tightly. It has um, a rubber band, so it might actually 
All right, pop. We'll, we'll so give, you'll see. Give it a shot here. Yeah, why not? Okay. Why not? And this is what you use in those rockets. The Ed, you can, you, yeah. Yeah. So, okay, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. You, we want it to? Come on. I don't know. Why not? Oh, let's just leak everywhere. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Clearly, this is an outdoor science activity. Um, that's all right. I'll clean it up later. Um, so this is fun, and you feel, if you like that, you'll like this, too. Okay. Um, um, I work in a lab, so I have the advantage of having test tubes and stoppers. All right. Um, but what you want is, if you could pass me a bottle of vinegar, and you will have one as well. Okay. So you got baking soda in the bottom. Uh -huh. and you see something that's going to make an airtight seal. And so you put a little bit of vinegar in there, quickly put on the lid, shake it, and don't point it at someone that you want to be friends with. Okay? okay. So don't point at humans. Okay. So you got to go. How Here, I'll do it for you. Okay. You do that, and I'll put the stopper on yeah. real quick. Yeah, and then shaky shake. Okay? okay. Ready? Mm hmm I mean, I've given you enough, but. Oh, there, there we go. go. <laughs> did, you, did you get that one? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and I have larger ones with bigger seals, but you're going to have to, you ready? Help me out. Okay, i got to okay, put it in. Right, okay, ready? Yeah. It's okay. Put it in. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'm super excited to clean this up. <laughs> but it's fun, right? With all of your vinegar on the floor, it's going to be a good, uh, you know, good way to clean the floor. Oh, okay. sad. I did that Just one time a trying to launch the rocket. Didn't have the stopper in tight, and the rocket went <laughs> and fell over. And I've had, Gotta have that seal. that one down. You also do uh, parties, uh, birthday parties, yes. office parties, I'm sure. That's right. Office okay. parties, and corporate parties. Uh, birthday parties is a big part of our business. Uh, Valentine's Day parties. Ah, Ooh, interesting. Ooh, that's the, the, right. Get it? The chemistry of Valentine's. Oh. The chemistry of love. <laughs> What's well, the secret there? It's there not, you go. It's not vinegar and baking soda, I can imagine. <laughs> <Ta -da. laughs> if you would like more information, don't forget safety goggles, too, whenever you're doing some of these things at home. But go to salives.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Always a blast, Andrea. Thanks, Thank man. you very much. Yeah. What are you doing over there, Jen? <laughs> More crafts DIY, inexpensive, and you might have everything you need already in your pantry. Why, this is the perfect canvas for many other things, not just markers, maybe some melted crayons. We have that and much more coming up. Plus, I hope you're hungry, because bacon, cheddar, and toasty buns, yep, we'll tell you where you can sink your teeth into that delicious burger. I am so hungry right now. We'll be back. And worried about maintaining not only your hair but your beauty appearance. Style and beauty expert Donna Kim from DonnaDaily.com is here with some fantastic travel hair tools and beauty tools yes. for those of us always on the go. And whether you're traveling or you're just really busy, yes. these products can help. Yes, this is all about saving time but still looking fabulous. So Love we're gonna it. <laughs> so we're gonna start off with the Demarchi Labs Reloxin Lift Instant Wrinkle Smoothing Mask. So in these little packets. You massage it for about 10 seconds and you open it up and you apply it to your face. You're going to immediately feel that your skin is getting really tight. And what that does is, if you have a special event or you want to just look extra perky and perfect, <laughs> this is the mask to use before you apply your makeup. Okay. Um, another option is you can ask your doctor and you can do an, an in-office Xeomin treatment as well. And again, it just helps reduce those fine lines and all those hard to cover up places. And you can see kind of the befores and afters right here yes. after using this. So it just kind of temporarily gives you that extra tightening. That exactly. You okay. Yes. All right. The Down next, um, Garnier Skin Active Micellar Makeup Removing Towelettes. I put these in my gym bag because when you're on the go, you forget, oh, I have to bring my face wash and your toner and all of these other things. This is amazing. It cleanses your skin and it also gets rid of all of your makeup in one wipe. Um, the micellar water technology and the towelette with 5% silk fibers um, is a great pairing for your skin because it won't be harsh when you wipe it all off and it's just perfect for on the go. On the go and sensitive skin too. Yes and it's um, $6.99 available at drugstores everywhere and at GarnierUSA.com. All right, now I loved these because you asked me if I had a version of this, and I said, "Well, I have the giant version of this, and this is it's, it's an itty bitty hair iron." It is, and I think especially when you're on the go, you want to not you want to bring everything with you, right? Right. So now you have something super compact. It's already warm. 
and you can just all those touch-ups, especially when you're on air. I I'm think on it's it. Perfect. Exactly. I do, this, I do this while I'm on the air. Right. No one would know because it's so small. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Hairstyler Mini Colorful Straightener. Um, it's perfectly portable. It's lightweight. Sure is. Um, and it can straighten and curl your hair. I use it to curl mine. You like to straighten yours. Yes. Um, well, and it's less of a fight when I straighten. Right. It's more of a battle when I try to curl. <laughs> oh, goodness. And um, they generate six times more negative ions than regular irons for less heat damage and frizz. And um, it's it gets warm in 30 seconds. No, and I love that. I mean, and that's easy to transport. Exactly. You, know, you can throw that in at the bottom of your purse. You're good to it's go. Perfect. So 15 at herstyler.com. All right. And last but not least, we have these guys from Urban Skin RX. Um, these are cleansing bars. So I use these in the shower because it's basically getting like a facial treatment um, while you're already in there. So it's perfect when you're just rushing and you're just on the go. And each of these does something different, yes. right? So this first one. Yes. Yeah, so this is the Even Tone Cleansing Bar. Um, it's great for treating uneven skin tone and dark spots. I have a lot of dark spots, so I definitely have this in my arsenal. Um, the next one is the Anti-Aging Cleansing Bar, um, which helps with the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't love that? And the last one is the Clear Skin Cleansing Bar, and that's um, really great, if you, especially if you have breakouts. So this is definitely always in my shower. Um, and yeah, it's $28, and you can get them at urbanskinrx.com. All right, great stuff from Donna Kim from DonnaDaily.com. For more information on her and all these beauty products, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. On SA Live, oh my gosh, I hope you're hungry. Burgers smothered in a secret sauce. And let's take a trip on my magic carpet. We'll do some things that might never happen. We'll meet the crazy. So cute. We catch up with local artist Piper Tilton with her new cute, adorable single. Plus, you'll never guess who she says is her favorite artist. Stay with us. Okay, imagine, is this what it looks like when you go to bed? Somebody laying next to your partner and they sound like a chainsaw, you know, without the muffler on it or a bad motorboat. But how about if it was this, just this blissful hell? Oh, one more time, Veronica, the, ah, oh, ah, oh, that's what it's going to be like. <laughs> Veronica Marios, sleep technician from Premier Sleep is here, and that is possible yes. to get a good night's sleep like yes, that, right? definitely is. What is the root cause of the bad night's sleep and the snoring? So what happens is um, sleep apnea, it, you know, it contributes to the snoring. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, I mean, a lot of people snore, but then not a lot of people have sleep apnea. So we want to find out if there's something more serious going on if you have loud snoring, uh, your partner snoring next to you. <laughs> okay, and this model right here, now this would be the set of face, and obviously this is face up, but right. you would be lying back. And this is where the airway is blocked on this side, let me show you this one first right there. Right, and where the tongue falls back into the, in the throat? Is that yes, where it yes, that's a collapsed airway. Okay. And then the way we wanted to look is all the time is this open airway. So you can get a nice breath right in there. Exactly. And the device that does it, now, you've seen the things they, they refer to as the, what is it, the alien? Yeah, the, the mask. The, the mask that comes <laughs> on your face. And Very they, cumbersome. A lot of people are not wearing those. They just put them under their bed. Um, it's very uncomfortable if you toss and turn, you, you know, yeah. you can't wear it all night. So for those patients with mild to moderate, we have an alternative. So how does this thing work? I see some bars on there and everything. Yeah, so what it does is we take custom fit impressions mm -hmm. and it anchors to your teeth and it brings that lower jaw forward. By bringing that lower jaw forward, it keeps that tongue from falling back and prevents it from collapsing. So... As you put this in, and then you can adjust that, so you're going to be sleeping like that sometimes? Yeah, we'll be adjusting it now. Everybody has a different protrusion, okay. so we adjust it to your comfort, your level of comfort. And when your wife or your husband is telling us, oh, my gosh, I'm getting the best night's sleep, and so is my husband, mm -hmm. and that's when we're ready for a final sleep study. What does putting your jaw forward like that do? It keeps that airway open. So if you look at the model that we have okay. here, by bringing that lower jaw forward, if you see it off to the side, you see how it's keeping that so this right here, let's get it above that banner right there. You there. Go. This is how far forward your jaw would be compared to when it's kind of thrown back right. a little bit. Okay. Exactly. And then that takes the tongue and pulls that it in forward. That brings that jaw forward and it keeps that airway from collapsing. Exactly. Oh, so, and like you said, you have to come in for 
a fittings, custom fit impression. Yeah, so it fits you perfectly because we take impressions of your teeth. And then ongoing, it's like, well, I didn't sleep great last night. Let's try and adjust it a exactly. little bit. Exactly. Every two weeks, we follow up with you until we get where we want to get you. <laughs> insurance covers it? Most insurances okay. do cover it as well as Medicare. All right. And then what do patients say after switching to something like this? Um, I have patients who have suffered for 18 years with a CPAP. They are just not comfortable. They come into my office. They love it. Special going on today? We do. The first 25 callers will receive a free consultation. It's a $200 value. Oh, wow. Okay. If you would like that, I mean, because nothing like a good night's sleep and snoring, you don't get a good night's sleep with it. Call 210-598-8200. That's 210-598. Or visit online, stopsnoringtexas.com. Veronica, thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you. with SA Live. Well, I'm back out here in San Marcos at Center Point Station to go inside their kitchen and try one of their famous burgers. The last time I was out at Center Point, I showed you how they make their monster cinnamon rolls. This thing is huge. This is like a bowling ball covered in icing. But as soon as lunchtime arrives, the restaurant gets packed with hungry customers all waiting to sink their teeth into their juicy, famous burgers. The buns and toast are baked fresh daily. And the burgers are cooked to order. You can add bacon, cheese, fresh veggies, and their house-made Dr. Pepper barbecue sauce. I've been coming here for about 17 years now, locally owned and operated. What do you think about the burgers? Oh, my favorite is the cheese monster. My wife doesn't appreciate it that I eat it often, but I enjoy it. And you can't get a Center Point burger without their famous onion rings. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger, the onion rings. Classic. The onion rings are hand breaded and fried to order. Tender onion in the middle. Great finish, great bite on the outside. This is what we do here. That's good barbecue sauce right there. The kitchen is also cranking out pulled pork potato chip nachos, fried chicken salads, fresh fried chicken wraps, and so much more. You look and you think it's right across from the mall, so it's a, you know, it's going to be a tourist trap. It's not. Owner Cheryl Capitelli acquired the business in 2009 from her late father, Jay Garland Warren. He just wanted to offer a good old hamburger, and none of our recipes have changed. Everything has, has stayed the same. Practically every wall in Center Point is loaded with vintage signs that Warren collected. His hobby was always to collect the early American antique furniture and old store signage. He didn't care anything about selling it. He just wanted people to enjoy it and showcase a little bit of old America. Looking to walk off some of that food? Well, the restaurant also has a retail space full of knickknacks and fine leather goods. People come in for clothing, John Hart. Um, we stamp here in the store, so that's a, a big plus. Center Point is a classic diner full of vintage signs, great vibes, tasty sweets, and a burger that is a must try. Malt, burger, onion rings, classic Americana food done right over here at Center Point. Keep eating San Marcos, and for SA Live, I'm David Elder. That looked amazing. Coming up, we are crafting. This is Selena Montoya. Here we Thank go. You. Look at that. Yes, we're having some fun with items that you probably already have around the house. And you have some tips too, right? Absolutely. Lots of fun things. Great. Let's take a trip on my magic carpet. We'll do some things that might never happen. And it's a rooftop session with our favorite pint-sized performer, Piper Tilton. She is a doll, and you're going to hear that coming up. vote for another cool school or we go public cool school this month it's Southside ISD and they're featuring their high school future farmers of America the girls varsity basketball team and their band I think they have two three jazz bands and color guard all that good stuff so you can vote now for one of those programs let's see who is uh, in the lead now it's the band right John I think I'm blind there it is <laughs> so the band good job but you got all week to vote, so keep them coming. For more information on Go Public, just go to wegopublic.com. And I get to go out there and hang out with the students, whoever wins. So I'm really excited. All right, 
Time for some crafts made with L O V E. I got Selena Montoya, contributor Hello. for Alamo City Mom Blogs. And you yes. guys have so many great ideas. Well, thank you. We try to have fun with our kids, keep things fresh and new, and try to do it with all the things we have around the house, right? That makes so, it so much make easier. Make it easy. You don't have to run out to the craft store. Um, but I've got a couple of things here that we can work on. We're going to start with um, a little card that you can make. And um, this is just using plain old cardboard. So this is from a snack box and some foil. And you really just wrap it up. And you can use this um, to create some really cool designs. So my daughter made a pattern, and Aww. she was working on a hearts and squiggles and flowers, and hearts and squiggles and flowers, and <laughs> she was all about it. And um, you just take some Sharpies or regular washable markers. You could even use um, crayons. If you take a little um, hair dryer to them and make them a little bit melty, it leaves a really a cool hair imprint. Dryer. So oh, yeah. How long would you keep? I'm trying to do some hearts. Don't mind me. <laughs> how long would you keep a hair dryer to to get them to um, that perfect consistency? I would say about 10 seconds on a medium oh, heat. That's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad at all. You don't want to burn anybody, right? You gotta no. practice safe crafting. Ooh, I like how you did that. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> So, going at it. Yeah, just make all kinds of little designs. Um, Jack filled out some hearts, so oh. he had fun with this one. How old is Jack? Um, he's three, three, and so he's going to be working on boy. lots of Valentines this year. Um, but yeah, these are a lot of fun, really easy, um, really cool canvases, and um, they work best if you use the non-shiny side. So pro tip right okay. there, non-shiny non -shiny side. side. Um, moving on over here, we are working on something kind of cool. So um, we're talking about different types of art and artists, so there's the what, what did you call it? The pointillism, pointillism remember that? art. No, yes, I remember. I'm just yes. thinking of um, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Yes, and that big <laughs> painting they go to at the Art Institute. So anyway, this one we did um, using a stencil. So we cut out a little heart stencil, and I already pre-taped yours on here. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to go all around the outside of the heart with whatever colors you'd like. Okay. And the cool thing about these is these are already paint ready to go, ready to get on the paper. But if you don't happen to have these, um, you can use a Q-tip, dip those Ooh, in paint and point okay. those around. You could also use um, the end of a, of a pencil. Just use that eraser end and those would make perfect little points. And the Q-tip would give you a little smaller, but you would... They would. It might keep them busy longer. It might keep them That's busy what I'm a thinking. little bit longer. Absolutely. And so one little tip too is to cut out the inside of the heart so you can use the tape and it doesn't get on the outside, oh. but go all the way to the edge. So you really get that, that um, Got it. heart Did shape that in there. Yeah. And, another and it won't bleed. You mentioned this photo paper gives it the shine. Yeah, so I if you want to have a little bit more uh, shimmer to your, your artwork, you can use photo paper or even some specialty paper. Oh, really get in there. Let's okay. Like, yeah, you need to help yeah. me. Oh, there you go. Yeah, okay. don't Gosh. be shy. She's so good. I'm don't like, be shy. You're so delicate with this. I'm like, just make it. And that's the way my son would probably do it. Yes, just like that, it'd be all over the place. Free and crazy, and, and then and that's if okay. you if you were to peel that off, okay, you'll have the little imprint. Oh, here I go. Here I go. A <gasps> heart. There we go. So there you go. So that's the more so you do, the better it looks. And let them just have at it, have a lot of I fun love doing it. that. Um, over here, we're going to do an old-fashioned valentine. Okay. So um, I'm going to have you fold the paper in half, and we're going to cut out some hearts. Okay. So we're gonna free we're gonna free form these, right? Yes. So I didn't I didn't cut the lines, but um, I don't want you to do two hearts. Okay. See how good I am at this. And you guys, are you have a lefty? No. I'm oh, not. okay. I was like, okay. My sister and brother are sure. Are both <laughs> I don't have left-handed scissors. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is my hearts. Okay. There you go. <laughs> keep it going. Keep it going. Okay. And um, the cool thing about this is you take them out. And you've already got your design and pattern ready to go. So you can teach them a little bit about patterns and pattern recognition. So mm -hmm. to make the B, you've got the yellow and black, the yellow and black. Mm -hmm. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put it together. And I've got a little sample you right got it here. All ready for me already. Oh, so right. here we have it all set. So just let's get some glue mm -hmm. on there. We'll stack them up. Look how pretty that glue is. <laughs> And you said that's probably just so that they don't overuse it, right? Yeah, yeah. That's so, sweet. you know, you just make sure you get some down on the bottom there. Okay. Very nice. We'll stack the next one down there. And this is so fun because if they're going to hand these out to their friends, they can even personalize Super easy. Them. Yes. And then we're also going to do, so the good thing about these little hearts is we can use these as the wings. Oh. So add a little bit more glue in the center. Okay. I think... I have a little there you go. Valentine waiting off to the side here. There we go. <laughs> Don't forget his little antenna. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. 
right at the right. top. And there we go. Plenty more ideas on your website. Oh, absolutely. Right. Anytime you need an idea for something cool, you just go to Alma City Mom's blog. Um, check out what we've got on there. Would you like to make a little face sure. on there? And while you're doing that... So what's new on the website, though, heart. right now for February? Do you guys have any freebies? Well, of, of course, we're looking at the rodeo. So the rodeo is one of our favorite events. Oh, that's it. And, um, you know, we've got a uh, also a Mom's Night Out coming up on Thursday. It's Mom's Night in Palm Springs. Oh. So it'll be down at the Pearl. You can check that out. And, uh, yeah, let's see. It's perfect. I love yours. The little face is so cute. Okay. Oh, 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 he was decapitated. Oh, okay. This is going to be for you, Mike. Here you go. <laughs> be mine. Oh, oh Very oh, sweet. Thank you. <laughs> we'll be back. Oh, gotta wait till the glue dries. That always helps. So there we go. There. Oh, see how perfect. Oh. There you go. Oh. Just for you. Be mine. Let's everyone you know the talent that we have on this show the musicians they're just incredibly talented yes. wonderful to listen to one of our favorite it's piper tilton she is a cutie with the big voice yep. it's amazing to see and we did a rooftop session with her where we go on top of ksat it's beautiful and she just blew us away with her vocals take a listen I want to go far past the stars want to go real far Let's go to Mars Let's take a trip on my magic carpet We'll do some things that might never happen We'll meet the crazy, we'll meet the insane We'll meet the weirdos, we'll meet the plane I'll blow you into your own bubble Sculpt you into that as trouble But don't worry about that Cause this is a place to adapt Don't worry about the other places cause this is home sweet home and all I gotta say is don't worry about the looks and sizes don't worry where the perfect guy is just adapt to you cause you are true don't worry about the looks and sizes don't worry where the perfect guy is just adapt to you cause you are true i'll hug you until all your love's gone make you understand that you are the one you are the one She's one of our favorite little local singers. Piper Tilton joins us. Hi there. Hi. It is so great to catch up with you after a little bit. What have you been up to lately? Um, a lot, actually. Just this earlier this month, on the second day of 2018, I was on the front page of San Antonio Express News. What? Uh huh. What? What? What did they say? Um, they just did a little story about my life and <laughs> all that good stuff. No. Okay, so did they interview you? Yes, they did, actually. So what, what, what did you say in the interview? What, what did they ask you? About everything that I've done and where I performed. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, just like... And about your music and, yes, and things yes. like that. Uh -huh. Okay, now did you just recently write two more songs? Yes, I did. Tell me about what was different about writing one of these songs. I'm going to play it on the piano. So when did you start to learn how to play the piano? About three weeks ago. Three weeks ago? Yes. And you already wrote a song on the piano? Yes. That's pretty cool. What's it called? It's called Caught in Your Own Web. Caught in Your Own Web. Is it up-tempo or? It's slow. It's it, slow? But it's, it's slow in its own way. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you love about writing music? Um, I love how it lets me connect with other people and meet new people and just to see how they like it. So what, who is your favorite artist right now? Um, I don't really have one, but I do love Julie Andrews. <gasps> that is classic. I mean, who doesn't love Julie Andrews? Mm -hmm. Do you love Sound of Music? Oh, yes. Oh, what's your favorite song in Sound of Music? Edelweiss. Edelweiss, Edelweiss, every morning you greet me. Yes! <laughs> so if you could have anybody sing with you 
on one song, who would it be? Julie Andrews. Julie Andrews, okay. So if you could have anybody open for you at your own concert, who would it be? I think it would be Julie Andrews. Julie Andrews, again. Yes, wow, yes. she's across the board. Yes, okay, all I right, so that's her. probably who would you, you would want to meet. Yes, yes. What would you say to Julie Andrews if you ever met her? I'd go... <laughs> And I ran straight to her and hug her to death. <laughs> I love that. How's school going? It's going great, actually. Uh -huh. um, I just started pre-algebra, so. Wow, fancy. <laughs> Thank you. That, that, that's math I can't do. <laughs> <laughs>Shaves in somebody's face. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. yes, everything. Amazing what this guy can do. Also, it is a creme brulee cheese tea. They put creme brulee on top of this what? tea and then flame it up like that. It's the only yeah, in the world that does it that way. And of course, David Elder went there. We're going to be back at 1 o'clock tomorrow. Same bat time, same mm -hmm. bat.